and dried race, at least at the front. We've seen Parker Kligerman and Zane Smith out front most of the race. Corey Heim led a few laps at the start, and there's the 41 of Justin Marks has gone off in a big way. So second time in the last couple of laps that Marks has gotten off track, and this one a much more significant hit than the previous. We saw Justin flipping switches. They're going to try to refire it. He was running 22nd after losing all that track position when he was turned around earlier. I think that's the end of the back straightaway. Yeah. And caution. The China has, Beach. Boy. Caution has come out for Marks. We'll see. I think he break got issue, it maybe. fired up that's, again. We heard it. Uh, that's we very heard it unlikely. Fire up, but uh, we'll see if he can get out of all that gravel. Tow truck is arriving to give him a little bit of help. That is a very unlikely a driver error right there to, to be that deep. If you're 10, 20 feet into it, maybe you spun out, but if he made it all the way to actually impact the tires right there, probably had a master cylinder fail or something go deep on the brakes. Yeah, Justin is attempting to get out of the truck now. We can see him moving around inside there. And that's a 160 mile an hour straightaway as well. So downhill. Yeah, I'm glad to see Justin get out of that truck. Yeah, imagine driving your car and going down the interstate at, you know, 70 mile an hour and hitting your brakes and there not being any brakes, much less 160. And a significant hit for Marks as well. So the day is done for Justin Marks, but we've still got plenty of racing left in mid Ohio.